Here are some things to uh, ponder on as we close the broadcast for the week. The things that we've talked about this week about spiritual awareness, a person who comes to faith because a seed was planted and they became spiritually in tune and they begin to realize that they're living in a spiritual world and there's a spiritual God and that they are spiritual and a part of it. And they realize that that there is a difference between the carnal side and the spiritual side. But the thing is, is that we don't always realize that it's not always instantaneous that a person comes to faith. It's usually a gradual process. It begins with somebody planting a seed and then somebody else coming along and watering that seed until that person comes to that point to where oftentimes they'll seek out somebody that they know who is a person of faith. And they'll ask questions and, uh, and God will do the work. And we have to depend on that. And that's why I say to you, my Christian brothers and sisters in, in, in Christ, is that just sow the seed. Just be responsible to sow the seed. And don't, don't be concerned that, oh, I didn't lead them to Christ. Well, in God's time, in God's time, he will. And God will do the work in their heart. Sow the seed. And, and a great way to sow spiritual seed is to tell your story. How did you come to faith? What did God do to bring you to your spiritual awareness? Those are powerful testimonies, powerful stories, and they will cause people to become curious even about their own selves. You see, I believe that a person who is outside of faith has a... Uh, searching that's going on, whether you realize it or not. Because I believe that it is the the heart of man to connect with the spiritual God. But uh, the enemy is very strong, and he and he gets a, a tremendous grip on the heart of someone. And they become so bound by, by the lies of the devil, because the Word of God says that he is the deceiver of the brethren. I mean, he, he is full of lies and deceit. But we can defeat that by simply speaking faith, because faith is such a powerful thing, and uh, the activity of God is so powerful. We have to have confidence in that. And so we can't take this on our own shoulders and say, oh, I've got to lead that person to faith. No, you need to plant the seed and let God do the work in the vineyard or in the garden, because he's capable of that by the work and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And as God begins to move, he will change a heart. And it's such a wonderful thing to know that that reality exists. And I believe that if I could could plant this thought in the hearts of people all across the world, as this broadcast is going all across the world, that you would become a part of the harvest and that we would all just say, God, give me opportunity to sow the seed. And with boldness, with confidence, I sow the seed and then I leave it to God. And uh, then when that person may come back to me later, I've studied and I'm ready to answer whatever questions they may have. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.